Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo. just a small update video which is actually a very important one because the Minecraft Pocket Edition beta known as 1.1.1 is now complete and the update has started rolling out for all devices. Now I've already updated Windows 10, I'm about to update my iOS device in this video, Android for me is taking a little bit longer but expect the update today. Now like I said it's only a small update but it is very important because in the 1.1 update the worlds were very laggy. We had so many errors, my realms wouldn't work, survival took a long time to load in chunks. Fingers crossed that is now all fixed in this update and if you do notice any more bugs, please report them on the official bug tracker. So Matt Booty tweeted this saying 1.1.1 is rolling out now to devices. Remember, it may take a while for your device to get it. This is a hotfix only update, hashtag Minecraft. Hashtag MCPE. Now if you haven't been keeping up to date with all the changes, I've gone back to bring you the official beta page 1. It says here, bug fixes, fixed several crashes and improved stability. The creative inventory can no longer be accessed in survival, which means the add-ons that people were using to hack survival realms and, and, and places will no longer work. Thank you for that. Redstone torches will no longer play the burnout sound when they simply lose power. Shulkers are now immune to fire. TNT explosions now apply the right amount of force to players. Mutated biomes will now decorate properly. Various fixes to the marketplace screen. Now beta 2 was this, it just says continued fixes for crashes and stability. Now this is very promising and the reason why this is very promising is because as of now, we're now looking forward to Minecraft Pocket Edition Beta 1.2, which is going to be the introduction of banners, as you guys seen earlier on, stained glass, parrots, and so many more incredible features. Now I'm still not expecting the beta for a couple of weeks, but we're one step closer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to head over to the App Store. I saved this update for all of you. You can see at the top, it just says Minecraft Pocket Edition, what's new in 1.1.1, various bug fixes. This is 131 megabytes which isn't the biggest of updates, but it's big enough. Now, the, the majority of the changes you're going to notice in this update is more for the developer side. You're not really going to notice much other than, obviously, the smoother gameplay. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to load up a brand new Minecraft Pocket world. I'm going to put my render distance on as far as I can, and I just want to see how the terrain generates in this version. Now, I'm using an Apple iPad Air 2, which is a pretty good device. Normally, I don't have any problems um, while using this device, but let's update and let's see the changes. So as you can see, version 1.1.1 going on the store to start off with. I don't know if that's a new feature, but on the top it actually says your gamer tag now next to your coins. Now I know a lot of people in 1.1 were having some issues with the Spax texture. Now when I first checked this out, it actually said new. So hopefully that does work for you now. If it doesn't, please report it as a bug. Apart from that, let's go into settings. I think I've already changed my settings. Going into video, yes, you can see that render distance is set to 14 chunks. So let's create a brand new world. Just going to create it in uh, creative. We're just going to do a little bit of flying around. So let's go to creative. Let's go to always day. Let's generate this. And I'm not going to skip anything here. I want you guys to see how fast it loads in now. Again, I've got a pretty good device, so it should be okay. We've spawned on like a an island here, but it looks like chunks load a lot faster. One of the biggest problems was, so for example, if I was to go to this island here, and I was to just simply quit the game. And then when I turned back, those chunks over there were like I hadn't explored them before. Now, I've noticed this in my Let's Play world, and some of you have noticed it as well, but it seems on 14 chunks on an Apple iPad, things are a lot smoother, which is just gonna be more promising because Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.2 is gonna be introducing a lot of features. So the more things we get, the laggier the game seems to become, but I don't see any issues so far, which is good. Guys, take care, stay beautiful, have a great day. And thankfully, they fixed the inventory tweaks. And I just want to quickly show you that, actually, before we do anything. Because I did install, I'm pretty sure I did install the inventory hacks. Just to test if they work. So, infinite items. Let's try this one. I just want to make sure they don't work in any worlds. Let's get a play. Let's create a normal one in survival this time. A lot of testing here. I love to test these. Let's get a play resource pack. Infinite items is on play. All right, we're going to test this one. Now, I'm pretty sure this one had like a, a creative menu in survival, which is as I've outlined, they have fixed this. And as you guys can see, they've definitely fixed this. So everything seems to be smooth. Everything seems to be working. Take care, stay beautiful. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.